But grocery stores see traffic every day from people buying everything from home goods to dinner supplies to school snacks. Now those stores are also dealing with staff shortages. Nine on your side's Perla Shaheen spoke to a local expert about how grocery stores are trying to keep up with the demand. We're having a very high level of absenteeism right now, which is causing us to have to uh, keep people extra hours and pay overtime. Mark Miller is the president of the Arizona Food Marketing Alliance. His association represents almost all grocery stores, food manufacturers, and distributors in Arizona. It's not just stockers, it's uh, cashiers, it's assistant managers. Um, in some cases, it's store managers, but there's just so much need across every different uh, aisle in the grocery store. Miller says the pandemic has left local stores understaffed, and recently more employees are out sick with COVID. We are exposed to thousands of people a day that come through the grocery stores and the convenience stores as well. You're seeing people flow in and flow out, and a lot of the people have given up on masks. And it's not just an issue in the stores. He says suppliers are unable to find truck drivers, resulting in production delays. Every industry that you're in a service, that you're uh, offering customer service, you're having a very difficult time filling the needs that you have. But the service industry is rising to the challenge. Miller says many local grocers are offering to help employees get an education or giving management training. They're offering uh, bonuses if you stay for a length of time, to three months to six months. Um, they've had to raise the pay up quite a bit over minimum wage to try to attract because they're all competing for that same entry level employee. We'll have more information on these job opportunities on our website, kgun9.com. Perla Shaheen, KGun9 on your side.